Hey Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to another Hightail News video. Today, I showed you guys a brand new trailer that was revealed as part of a Riot Games event happening. And now the devs have expanded on what was shown and I've got big news to talk about different versions of the game and how Hightail is going to be the best it can be on consoles and PC but there may be some differences. We're also going to talk about mantling and a lot more after this devlog reveals so much new. So if you want to hear more about Hightail in the future, lots of crafty survival open world farming games like Grounded, Lightyear Frontier and much more, make sure you subscribe and let's go. So to paraphrase this development blog, which is the first time in quite a while, as I told you guys, they pause these in the summer as they want to concentrate on getting things done. And effectively they start out by saying that this appearance with this gameplay was really designed to give players that have maybe not heard of Hightail, players that maybe enjoy games that Riot normally make, an opportunity to see something a bit different and to see what really Hightail is all about. But for people that are already aware of the game, they revealed a bunch of new stuff. They say that they've took this time to really look at the technology underpinning Hightail. They really wanted to support an interconnected community for years to come and so making sure they got the structure right of all the technology. Now in reply, they said that some people were speculating that because of this, they wouldn't necessarily be able to implement the features on PC because maybe consoles would hold it back in the future. But that is not the case. They strongly believe that every part of the community benefits when barriers to play are removed, but they can't promise that every future version of Hightail will have exactly the same set of features. They've said they intend to get as close as they possibly can without compromising on the scope or functionality of the PC version and rounding it off by saying that a lot of the stuff we maybe saw as part of that work in progress trailer are all prototypes. So they're going to evolve as we go deeper. So traversal is one of the things that we'll be doing different from many other pixel block games, i.e. Minecraft. You will be able to grab onto ledges and pull yourself up. This is an example of mantling. This is several new movement techniques they've been prototyping and being able to jump across gaps a little bit better and being a bit more forgiving. From a standing start, a player can currently jump and grab a ledge that is four blocks high. Compare that to Minecraft, and I don't, I don't want to do it too much, but yeah, you still get stuck or hemmed in by just a simple fence. They also prototype in a step up animation for one block high inclines. Now this is something other games have done actually, Pixar done this most recently, and although that game is rife with issues, being pretty much a carbon copy of Ark, but in a Minecraft block format, it was a good feature. This is going to allow movement to be much smoother without players having to hop. They're also working on sliding. Yes, just like Apex Legends or a number of other games, first person shooters, etc. You will be able to do a butt slide. Running and then pressing a button and going into a crouch will mean that you can slide along. And it's all part of their testing in parkour style arenas. Don't go into too much detail right now, but they've been doing some pretty dramatic changes to how Orbis is structured and the way the world is generated. The previous version, pretty much represented by the various zones, remain, but they're reevaluating the way they relate to one another as part of the overall flow of the player's experience. So, who knows what that means? Is it going to be like a ring format that the further you go out from your starting spot, it'll just get harder and harder, or you'll come across more exotic landscapes and zones? Or is it going to be patches? There are lots of games currently at the moment in survival world that when you go into different zones it doesn't necessarily mean that you are just getting harder and difficult you can jump into a more pleasant area there'll just be batches of them but they do finish off and say that assumptions made about the map and about the way the world generated may need to be ripped up daggers and dashes obviously a big part of the reveal was combat and it looked amazing obviously part of a pvp mini game it looked absolutely stunning a different variety of moves and takes you can do special moves fast footwork and careful positioning is something they've been working on a lot and the reversals of fortune that come when somebody steps a little too close to a dangerous ledge so they go on to say that in the summer they showed off some of their work with swords and maces to show different types of weapons the way your avatar fights when well, this clip they showed how the light weapons like the daggers and it will be quick and elusive and that you'll be able to have super mobility really just chipping away at a player or an enemy you can see how the dagger wielding player relies on quicker dashes rather than blocks to evade damage and how their leaping special attack allows them to close with their opponent for a quick hit before backing off dealing damage allows them to charge up the dagger's signature attack a rapid flurry of blows before they get hit by the mace's overhead slam and recover with an aerial dash however this aggression leaves them vulnerable to some follow-up footwork from the mace player opening them up to get unceremoniously hit bashed into the fire pit so again, it's all work in progress. Some of it may not necessarily make it through, but it's definitely something they're pleased with. 
And that is pretty much it for this blog. They just say big shout out and thank you to everyone that's been supporting them, all the stuff that's been sent into their offices, fan art and stuff, and pretty much a goodbye for this year and have a great holiday. With also a clip into a brand new track, the Into the Endless Sky. So there we go, great stuff from Hightail, really excited about this. I can't believe we're gonna have to wait until 2023 for it though. I know I might have only seemingly just jumped on this train, but I have been mentioning it a little bit on my main survival channel over the last year. And as soon as I heard that they were gonna be actually releasing it in 2023, that's when I thought, well, I probably won't cover it that much. But yeah, these kinds of things really get me excited and I can't wait to show off more from Hightail in the future. So make sure you subscribe. If you want more survival content, go and check out my main survival channel and I'll see you rat bags later.